Okay, so this bit of analysis using indifference curves is quite complex. It's really the kind of a high level A2 micro theory. Uh, we're going to look at the income and the substitution effects of a price change for a particular product. Hopefully you can stay with us and it'll, it'll make it clear for you. A change in the price of any product, uh, if we hold other factors the same, always creates an income effect and the substitution effect. So I'll explain them both as we go through. Let's take uh, the example of a change in the price of an everyday product, uh, fresh oranges in, in a supermarket or a market store, for example. So here's, uh, here's the way that we would show the income and the substitution effects uh, of a fall in the price of oranges. Let's assume the consumer is making a choice between bananas, or the quantity consumed is on the y-axis, and oranges, the quantity consumed is on the x-axis. The initial equilibrium choice is the point of tangency between budget line BL1 and indifference curve IC1. Now, we're only going to focus in this video on the quantity of oranges consumed and bought. So just for the moment, we can leave the banana axis uh, on its own. We're going to assume that effectively the price of oranges halves so that with a given income, the consumer, as you can see here, can now buy more oranges. They can, uh, their, their consumption set has increased. So the budget line pivots from BL1 to BL2, an outward shift in the budget line. So oranges have become cheaper in the market. Now, this allows the consumer to move on to a higher indifference curve. Uh, I've drawn one here, IC2. Don't forget the difference curves, combinations of the two products between, you know, between which the consumer is indifferent. So the fall in the price of oranges allows the consumer to move on to indifference curve IC2. And in equilibrium, that tangency point, then the consumer will consume, let's say, C quantity of oranges. So a fall in the price of oranges has caused the consumer to move from equilibrium quantity A to equilibrium quantity C. Cheap oranges leads to an expansion of demand. Thus far, nothing that shouldn't be too uh, uh, remarkable or too hopefully too hard to, to get to grips with. The key to this little bit of analysis is to think about why that's happened. The fall in the price of oranges uh, creates two separate effects. Firstly, oranges are now relatively cheaper compared to bananas. We can see that because the gradient, the gradient of the budget line has changed as a result. And secondly, in real terms, the consumer now has more income because one of the products is cheaper. As a result, they can move on to a higher indifference curve. So a change in gradient and a change in the real income of the consumers. The change in gradient is the substitution effect. The shift to a higher indifference curve is effectively the income effect. So if you're still with me, and I hope you are, we're now going to break down the total effect, which is A to C, into two component parts. First of all, we have to show the substitution effect. And to do this, we isolate or eliminate the income effect. So take a pause if you need to. Let's, let's show how this works. We need to ask a question, how much of the increase in demand for oranges is due to the fact that oranges are now relatively cheaper than bananas? Well, uh, real income has increased with the price fall, so we need to isolate the real income effect. Now we do that by holding the consumer onto their original indifference curve I see one. We know that, let me go back a slide for you. We know they originally eventually ended up at IC2 here, but we're going to hold the consumer to the original indifference curve IC1 and ask the question how many more oranges would they consume at the lower relative price? Now, the, the lower relative price is the difference in the gradient of the indifference uh, of the budget line. Again, let me go back a slide. The new budget line has this gradient. 
this created here, BL2. So we create a parallel budget line. Look at this green dotted line. It's parallel to BL2. But what we've done is we've brought it back. We brought this line back to where it's just touching, just tangential to the indifference curve IC1. We've, ke we've kept the consumer tied to IC1. If we do that, we find that because oranges are cheaper, uh, consumers move from the original equilibrium to this one. This green dotted line is the budget line with the same gradient as with the fall in price, but we've eliminated the income effect by bringing this back so the consumer stays on the same indifference curve as before. So the substitution effect is the movement from the initial equilibrium here to the new equilibrium here. That is the substitution effect from A to B. The movement from A to B down in difference curve IC1 is the substitution effect. Now, we know that the total effect is from A to C. So if the movement from A to B is the substitution effect, then by a process of elimination, the um, income effect must be the, the other remaining bit. To show the income effect, we now allow the consumer to move on to the new indifference curve, IC2 from IC1. Effectively, we allow them to make the jump from IC1 to IC2. And when we do that, the substitution effect and the income effect become clear so the income effect is the movement from B to C. So the total effect is A to C. The substitution effect is the changing gradient of the budget line, A to B. The income effect is the jump to a higher indifference curve, B to C. Both factors in this example, the income effect and the substitution effect, are working in the same direction. Uh, this assumes that oranges are a normal good, that people do want to buy more oranges, fresh food and things, fresh, fresh food, when their incomes uh, go up in real terms, when they become cheaper. Uh, both factors, the income effect and the substitution effect, are causing more oranges to be bought. So that takes you through the income and substitution effects of a price change for a normal good, such as fresh oranges. Okay, thank you.